Hello friends, good day. We are uh, back on the 8th program. Uh, in our 7th program we saw how to create a zombie process. We also understood what are the problems with the zombie process. We also understood what is the difference between a zombie process and northern process. And how do we uh, verify whether we have successfully created a zombie process. These are certain things which we saw in the 7th program. Now, in our 8th program which I am going to display right away is uh, write a C, C++ program to avoid a zombie process by forking twice. Now, why should we avoid a zombie process? We have already learnt. We need to avoid a zombie process to make sure that the performance of the system is intact. The status quo with respect to the performance is maintained in the system. Now, how do we uh, um, you know, ensure this? With the help of a small presentation, I will uh, illustrate what is hap what how to do this. Now, there is a parent process, and we need to to avoid a zombie process. We need to first of all create a child process, fork it. The parent process is forked, and a child process is created. And this child process, if it exits, and the parent does not collect an exit status. That is when it, the child process, this this process, the child process becomes a zombie. Now, to avoid that, what we do is we fork twice, meaning the child process further forks to create a grandchild or a, a second level child. The hierarchical level is two. Now, this grandchild, after the creation of the grandchild, the child is exited. What happens when the child exits? A, the grandchild does not have a parent. What happens to this grandchild? It is adapted by init process and such a kind of a process is called as an orphan process. There is a parent process. Let me go back, go back to the sequence once again. Parent process crea forks, creates a child. Child fork creates a gr grandchild. Child exits and the init process adapts the grandchild and now the parent process is independent. This process grandchild has become an orphan process whose parent is the init process which is always running and it always collects the exit, exit status eventually uh, avoiding a scenario uh, like a zombie or a defunct process. Okay. Now, how to do this? Let us try to do, uh, do show, I will try, try to show it with a program here. The first fork, creation of the child and inside the child, creation of the grandchild is happening here and when the, as soon as the grandchild is created, in this two statements, we are exiting the child, we are exiting the child. What happens when a child is exited? The grandchild becomes orphan and such an orphan process is adapted by init process and the grand the init process always waits for its child to exit it always collects the exit status okay the parent process can now exit no problem because it has no connections anyway let us go back to the uh, presentation you can see there is no arrow mark here the parent process is independent it has no connection to the init process it has no connection to the grandchild the child has exited anyway so it can as well go ahead and exit Okay, so this is how we, uh, you know, create a avoid, avoid a zombie process scenario. Now let us try to execute this program. GCC eight avoid zombie process dot c dot slash a dot out. Now when I do a ps minus a, you can see uh, the second child uh, ps minus a. Oh, let me let me re-execute this once again um, even before uh, yeah you can see that there is this process a dot out which we just executed and there is no defunct process that we can see uh, to re-verify this let me do it once again ps minus evo pid 
PPID status comma CMD. Okay, this is what we are supposed to execute, right? This is what we are supposed to execute. Let me clear this. A dot out. You can see A dot out is created. The child process, as soon as it has created, there is no defunct process. You cannot see any Z plus anywhere here. Okay. And of course, um, so that is how we avoid a zombie process. Uh, this is it. Uh, I am hoping you have understood this particular program. Um, how to avoid a zombie process by forking twice. Let us meet once again with the next program in the chain which is the ninth program. Thank you.